kids love the Lego Movie too, and it offers quite a few nice sets that we've built at home. I was drawn to this cool fish-shaped spaceship that totally reflects Rex's macho personality. There are 1,826 pieces, and most of these snap together in a studio without much trouble, but there are a few tricky bits that this tutorial will cover. I'm assuming you know your way around BrickLink Studio program already, but if not, check out my two-part studio intro videos. There's also a studio speed build video for this model if you want to see the whole build from start to finish. Building this model digitally in studio really shows all the detail and the stickers really add a lot to the look, like the yellow stripes on the outside and internal details like this display screen and pool table. But there are no stickers in the studio parts list though, so they all have to be created using Part Designer. It's a lot of extra work, but so worth it. So in this video I'll show you how to make these custom parts and some tricky workarounds that are needed to overcome some of Part Designer's limitations. I'll also be making use of Studio's brand new Align function to get you up to speed with this new tool. I'll also show you how to replace a part that is missing from the parts list and where to position a sub-model that is really hard to see on the instructions. All the stickers from this model can be found on the BrickLink site. You can save and open the file in an image editing software like Photoshop. This bit is fairly tedious, but you can select each sticker in turn with either the rectangular marquee for rectangles or polygonal lasso for, well, polygons. Make sure you have selected the background layer, then right click and select the layer via copy. And repeat for every sticker. Then you can hide the base layer or any other nearby layers and crop the sticker image in tight. Save it as a PNG file to preserve transparency of any borders included in the crop. Then click undo to return to the rest of the sticker sheet and repeat for the next one. Part Designer is an add-on for Bricklink Studio program you can download from bricklink.com. Find the correct part by clicking import, then studio part, then by BL category, and search the list. We're just looking for the shape, the colour is added later. When you find it, select the part and click insert. The part will open in Part Designer and you can now add the sticker image by clicking the decal button. Select the correct PNG file you cropped and saved earlier. Position by flipping and rotating with the arrow keys and drag into place and click and drag to stretch to the right size. Once you're happy with the position and the size of the decal, click on the tick to connect the decal to the part. You then click Export to Studio to do just that. You will find your custom part with the image attached in the custom palette in Studio. But Part Designer doesn't like multiple stickers added on different planes. You can add one on top of the other in the same plane, but with this part that has two stickers on two different slopes, the second one goes weird. So I managed to get around this by joining the two stickers together back in Photoshop, then adding them as one from the top down. I then finished creating the remaining custom parts and exported to Studio. If the decal doesn't snap into the position you want, you can adjust the absolute position values in the top right of the window to fine tune its position. Or the size values in the lower right of the window to adjust the size of the decal by trial and error. The whole process was quite time consuming but you can download all these custom parts for free from my studio gallery on BrickLink. I've uploaded the file of the finished model with all the custom parts alongside, so you can clear the main model and just use the custom parts, or have a play with the main model as you wish. But please don't forget to like this video and also the model on the BrickLink gallery. There's a link below in the description. One other problem I ran into was that some of the custom parts lost their connectivity and would no longer snap to the other parts. Well, Studio released a new function in the latest update called Align, which is available from the right click drop down menu. Just select two or more parts or submodels, then select Align and either back, front, left, right, top, or bottom from the menu. I then use the translation tool to move the piece the last couple of LEGO brick lengths into position. 
Don't forget to join the pieces into a submodel before adding the next piece, otherwise the newly added piece might get left behind. This next tip is about the little cylinder in the centre of the ship's computer that looks like a fishbowl. The piece is light blue translucent and decorated with fish, but it is missing from the imported parts list for the set. I just couldn't find it in the master palette, then it came to me. It's a minifig head! So just select a plain minifig head in Studio's master palette and recolour it translucent light blue. No fish, but you really can't see the difference. The outer bowl is in the parts list though. My last tip is about the positioning of the rear spoiler fin. All the dark blue parts are a bit difficult to see in the instructions manual, but this step is totally unclear. Well, if you look from underneath, you can see there are some short grey plate pieces on the spoiler that line up with the tail fins, and this is the correct position. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please do give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Click here if you'd like to see more studio tutorials or here if you'd like to see the full studio speed build for this model. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you'd like to see more videos like these.